challenges in this course is that it's really the first time that a lot of two-dimensional and three-dimensional math is being used outside of your math class. So let's talk about this first off in the context of Coulomb's Law and specifically R vector. So when we're talking about R vector and then that will get into R hat as well as R and R squared, this is our path from the agent to the recipient. And this sounds really, really scary until we just use a little bit easier notation where we say that r vector is equal to rx i hat plus ry j hat. So if we want to take b as our recipient, then we can draw a vector from a to b, and we can also draw a vector from c to b. And these are going to be our two vectors. So right, these would be r of c to b, and these would be r of A to B. So in this case, in this sense, right, the vector of R from A to B, uh, vector of R from C to B, we can also write as, in a sense, right, R vector AB is equal to R of B minus R of A, the final minus the initial, and this would be then their positions. So we can do it this way, or we can kind of very often just kind of count Counting might be a little bit easier, a little bit less intimidating here. In order to get from A to B in the X direction, I have to go one, two, three units in the X direction, and I have to go one, two, three, four units in the Y direction. So I can also say that RAB is just three I hat plus four J hat. That's all that I need to do. Or if I want to look at the C vector, I can say that R C to B is going to be, well, I'm at eight, one, two, three, four, five. So negative five I hat. And then I go up three plus three J hat. So if we can get our X and our Y, then things get a lot easier. I think and I hope that everyone feels pretty confident about how to find the magnitude of R. In this case, we just use Pythagorean theorem, but putting it down maybe makes it feel a little bit more real. So square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared. And we have our last one, which is R hat, is equal to our R vector over our magnitude of R. So we've run out of space down there, so we're going to kind of write it over here. So in terms of CB, our RCB hat is equal to our vector CB over the magnitude of RCB. So RCB vector, we just write out what we had, negative 5i hat plus 3j hat over our RCB magnitude, so that's going to be the square root of 25 plus 9, right, 5 squared plus 3 squared. And very often when we're doing these R hats, we're going to have something that looks a little bit ugly, isn't really reducible by very much, right? The only thing we can really do to simplify this is just to combine the square root of 25 plus 9, and we just get square root of 34, right? Nothing else we can do. Don't worry about it. We'll be just fine. If we keep it in this way, instead of using ways like using angles or other stuff like that, then we can do superposition a lot easier. And in future weeks in which we're using continuous distributions, magnetic fields, things like that, this helps us a whole lot more for all of that. So we want to learn it kind of right the first way. For R, A, B, right, we can, of course, do that, that we have R hat. A, B is going to be, again, RAB vector over the magnitude of RAB, and we get 3i hat plus 4j hat. The magnitude is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. 16 plus 9 is 25. And in fact, 25 has kind of a little bit nicer of a way that we can express the square root of 25. We can just write it as 5.
but that's going to be kind of how easy or tough these R hats and R vectors are going to be. So the big thing is, right, don't panic. Just find the distance in the X, positive or negative, the distance in the Y, positive or negative, and express your R vector in this way. Finding R, we feel very, very confident or comfortable and confident in that. And then we just divide the R vector by the R to find our R hat in this case. And if we keep it this way, then we only have to do it one type of way for the whole class. And it's going to be the way that's going to help us a whole lot in the upcoming weeks and upcoming segments. Thanks.